APC National Working Committee dissolved. What's a party without a working committee? And from the National Party to the State Party, INEC states that the APC might not field any candidate for the upcoming election in Ondo State. This is Plus Politics. I am Coyote Ladende. plus politics. In what seems like an unexpected turn of events, President Muhammadu Buhari dissolves the National Working Committee of the All Progressive Congress. A caretaker committee has been constituted to take charge of affairs of the party, over which the NEC has appointed the Yobe State Governor, May Maila Buni, as the chairman of the caretaker committee. But the bone of contention is this. Does the president have the power to take this step? Joining us to discuss this is our own Liberos Oshoma, a legal practitioner. And uh, we also will be having Cheesy, and he uh, will be joining us, who is a legal practitioner, will be joining us from River State via Zoom. Good evening, Liberos. <laughs> Okay, while we wait for uh, Cheesy to join this conversation, let me start with this. Uh, some people have described it as a political solution, but does he handle the likely legal bottlenecks that we may encounter? Yeah, um, it's a political solution um, one step a little late uh, because um, the issues had um, been created before, one would have expected that long before now, the president probably would have zoomed in into this crisis and fashion a, a direction, you know, finding a political solution to it. But it's almost as if um, there are some power outside the presidency at play and then, um, you know, the crisis had been created and the president needed a way out of it. And so the way he could um, call for a neck meeting was to recognize them um, the faction that was um, asking for a neck meeting, uh, claiming that he was advised to so do. But the question is, there were two conflicting court orders. And then, um, you know, and so one empowering Victor Gadon to act, and another one um, uh, suspending Victor Gadon from the party. And, and so the president had decided to follow one on that basis to call a neck meeting. And so if you now also, if those other parties who had instituted the other court action chased it further, you know, what it means is that any decision taken by, and the court up, up, upholds that position, what it will amount to is any decision taken by such body becomes an illegality, you know. Even though there is um, the rule of um, presumption of regularity, having working, up, uh, obtain a court order, but they are caught of coordinate jurisdiction. One is not superior to the other. You know, so, but let's see how it plays out. This doesn't really solve all the problems in APC, even though uh, the president had advised that all parties should withdraw you know, their, their, their pending suits in court. The question is, if the president knew that he was going to give this advice long ago, why did he allow it to fester till this uh, point? And then secondly, um, the National Working Committee um, resolution or the President's comments or resolution is dressed in the gab of the um, neck, you know, resolution. From that is why you find out that, that you know some of the members, even some reporters, who say the President had dissolved and not that the neck had dissolved. It, it, it's just as if you preempted my question because I was going to ask because in a party democracy. We're looking at what's the function of the president and that of the party chairman. Because uh, we understand, or correct me if I'm wrong, because I have an idea that you have an idea of what the APC constitution looks like. Yeah. The neck dissolving the NWC, because it's always assumed that the party chairman is the number one person in the party. No, the neck has powers 
to dissolve the National Working Committee. In Next, what? In an extraordinary meeting? Extraordinary meeting ordinarily should be um, in a, and it in, should be in called a, in by a general who? meeting. In a general meeting, the general meeting should be called by the secretary of uh, the party of the National Working Committee. You know, in advice um, with the, the chairman of the party. Uh, but any member who feels that um, you know there is need for a national uh, for a, a neck meeting can write to the National Working Com Committee, urging them to so do. In this case, that is why you find out that the president quickly recognized the Victor Gyadom faction acting as um, acting chairman uh, who called for. So you can say that via that court order. But if time will permit me, I will also you know, look at that court order and the you know, irregularities sur surrounding it. So when you put all of this together, that's why I said it was a political solution you know, one step too late. Because um, one would have expected that when all of these issues started, that was when they had the time, you know, before all of these court orders started flying, right from the time when the, the Court of Appeal stayed the execution of the, the FCT High Court uh, 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 ruling, one would have expected that at that time, that was the time, that was the right time for the president to have stepped into the matter and call all parties to order and ask them to go, you know, um, withdraw their, their cases in court and then find a political solution to it on e-house, you know, find a way to resolve in it. But having failed to do that, they allowed the matter to fester, you know, positions has been taken, that even drove a governor away from the party. And now, you now call um, um, a neck meeting, ordinarily an extraordinary, um, extraordinary general meeting of the neck, you ought to give at least seven days by virtue of the APC constitution and 14 days, you know, in the case of uh, the general neck meeting. And so this one was done, you know, within 24 hours. 24 hours. Yes. And so one would have expected also that, um, you know, against that um, um, issue, matters like this will be tabled and votes taken on it because for dissolving a, a national working committee it is not within the powers of the president but within the powers of the neck, uh, neck to so do but from what we gather it is not as if the neck took a vote on it and then a resolution was passed and you know but all of these also are subject to rectification you know of the general you congress know. Of, um, of of the party, but when that we hold, you know, something also that uh, uh, quite know. a lot of uh, legal issues to actually address. One other issue that was mentioned, I ho I'm hoping that uh, Chizu will join us soon, in case he has a different perspective to what uh, Liberals has given us. We understand that there is no space for caretaker committee in APC. You recall the issue of Oyegu when yes. he was going to elongate his tenure. Is this another lacuna? Yes, it is, um, because um, when you remember uh, that Oyegu's case was a bit different. Oyegu's case was the fact that um, the um, uh, NEC extended the tenure of the then executive, the then National Working Committee, simply because they were you know, going into an election and that the, fact, the time for con holding another Congress was too near and that so it would be better for them to you know, extend the tenure of the existing uh, National Working Committee. I, then after the election, they would hold a Congress. But some of the governors did advise that that was contrary to the provisions of the Constitution, that the NEC does not have the powers to extend the tenure of members of the executive that were duly elected by the Congress. And the only people who can do that will be the Congress. And so to that extent, a uh, the Congress was um, arranged and then, uh, you know, candidates were nominated and uh, duly heard and new members were voted into office. And so one would have also expected that um, that would be, you know, um, the decision that they would have taken, you know, on this one. Uh, find the middle ground long before now, like I said, find the middle ground the moment the matters are in court find the middle ground to, you know, bring in all the warring parties together and then, you know, propose a, a Congress. They just finished an election and so it wouldn't be a bad idea to compel the former chairman to call for a Congress of the party 
to handle some of these issues, even though they were even running away from a neck meter, you know, because they know that there had been issues whether to sack Shomole or not to sack him. So there have been some people that have been pushing for the removal of Oshomole. You know, so that's why they have been running away from a neck meeting. And but that's the main issue here now is that recognition of that order, you know, appointing Vitor Giadom as acting chairman. Mm -hmm. And also the order from the River State um, Federal High Court, ousting Victor Giadom as a member of the political party. Wow. Uh, uh, quite a lot of uh, insight there. Yeah, I, I understand that we're being joined by uh, Mr. Cheesy. Good evening, Mr. Cheesy. Good evening, my brother. Yeah, good to have you. I'm sure that uh, network has delayed you to this period. But let's quickly get into the conversation. Now, what's your reaction to what happened today in APC? What happened today has been expected long, long, long time ago. It really shows that the president is one man who has patience to hear from every reasonable person. He has shown capacity, and uh, I, I applaud him the most. The reason is very obvious. The, some of the actions, or many more of the actions of the National Working Committee have not been in tandem with the party. And so many of the actions which ordinarily the neck ought to have ratified, even the appointment of uh, the secretary, the acting secretary, the acting publicity secretary, and so many others, which ordinarily is supposed to have been ratified by the neck, such things have not been done. The BOT has even not been constituted. And every day, one problem or the other. It really shows that this NWC is not working in agreement. And the only thing required of the neck is to dissolve them. And you know, the neck has the power to do so. And the only body now remaining for ratification is BOT. And okay. since we don't have the BOT, Cheesy. the neck now. Chizzy, can we stay on the legality now uh, before we go into the political part of it? Um, it? It is said that that was a good political solution. But as a lawyer, what, what, these men were elected. So how can they be dissolved by, from what we understand, the president just read a speech? Let's let, let, let leave Mr. President out of this. I said, Mr. President, as the leader of the party, taking the bold steps to call the neck, everybody sorry, together. Leader, sorry, I, I want to get something clear. As the leader of the party, in what capacity? Is the president the number one president in the party or the president of the country? He is one, part, he is one person in the party. He did it, I said the dissolution wasn't done by the president. It okay. was done by the neck. If the president has the discretion to do so, he would have done it long ago. But that decision was done by the neck. Okay. Hello? Yeah, you, you can continue your submission. I said that the decision was done by the neck. And now the legality of it is whether the neck have such power to do so. Yes. Okay, thank you. I, I'll come back to you. I, I, I think uh, liberals have some, some uh, will I call it an intervention or addition yes, to what uh, you said? Yes, um, I want to um, also uh, state that... Um, if indeed that uh, the problem of the party had been the National Working Committee um, failure to call a neck meeting to rectify some of these steps taken, why was it that the neck meeting did it rectify all of those issues apart from the state election today? Then the next question would be, as I said, the last neck meeting that was called, midway into the neck meeting, you're also aware that um, the issue of um, the acting the national chairman's uh, position came up, and the president excused himself, and then only for, from what we gather, that only for the, um, um, what's it called now, the secretary of the government of the federation to announce to the members that the president had taken his leave. And so that abruptly brought to an end that neck meeting. And, and so, for me, I wouldn't want to begin to eulogize you know, the, the president who, have been, who has been pussyfooting. If the president had been timely enough, you know, 
it probably the, the crisis wouldn't have degenerated to the level it got to. And that one would, to a very large extent, look at you know, a PDP, for example, that is without a nationally recognized you know, leader umbrella. But you see them being able to manage their crisis even far better than the but APC the liberals, that let, is the let ruling me just, party. I just pick a point from what you said. Now, yeah. let me take it back to uh, Barrister Cheesy. Uh, can we look at it? The same NWC you've mentioned now, Gerdom, who was the acting national chairman, described the primaries that was held in Edo as a nullity. Now, that NWC decision where they had that primaries was ratified. Yes, the, the, the NWC decision before Victor Gadon became the acting national chairman has been ratified by the NEC. And be that as it may, as we speak now, the NEC is the highest organ of the party. After NEC is the convention. And the NEC, as the highest organ of the party now, their decision stands, and nothing more pretentious than that. It is a constitutional provision that Every action done by the, the by the NWC have to be ratified by the NEC, even convening, I mean, uh, convoking convention. So as we speak now, the NWC, I mean, the NEC have directed that all actions of the NWC with respect to the Edo uh, State primaries stands ratified, and therefore it should be obeyed. And nothing more. No, and you also know that the current not a caretaker committee members of the NWC will do that line. And so nobody will oppose it. Okay, nobody will oppose it. We just want to get a, a, some kind of clarity here because we've tried to speak to a lot of no, APC no, members nobody and will they've, they've kept mute. We now have a new... I said nobody will oppose it because we now have a new NWC. And then the neck, their decision is final. And the current NWC now is a product of the dissolution of the former NWC. By the neck. Okay. And therefore, we don't, yeah. we don't oppose the power that brought them. Okay, I, I'm coming back to that. We are looking at uh, politics this time around. Do you suspect that this might lead to issues of um, APC going to the party or going to the election as a united front with what the president has done? Um, the APC that you know, um, whether united, there's no party in Nigeria that is united in all fronts. You know, because what happened is um, there is no common interest binding them. Within this contest now. Yes. Yeah, I'm getting there. There's no common interest binding them. They all have um, conflicting interests. But the essence is power, grabbing power. And, and so to that extent, when it comes to grabbing power, the APC is very good at doing that. The PDP, while they were in power also, they were very good at doing that. And so when it comes to election and um, election electoral processes, I, I think um, that... Um, they would, um, they, when they have, it's only when, when they have a, co a common enemy to deal with, they seem to be united in dealing with that common enemy. The moment that common enemy is gone and there is no other enemy, that is when their issues, you know, resonate and you see in-house fighting. Well, just before the election, if you can remember, almost all the states in where APC were, you know, in government, including some where they were, they had parallel congresses. But you would think that going into that election that, you, you know, APC was going to implode. But they went into election and they came out stronger. But the moment the elections were over, you had expected that they would set up a reconciliation committee and, you know, reconcile all the warring parties. But they didn't do that. They were so, so inured in the, in, in the victory of the election that they completely forgot that they had issues. And so that's why you saw the moment a do election you know, was close by. All of the issues okay. were their ugly head. Liberals, and dissolving I'm, I'm, the I'm committee... Getting, I'm getting a signal to quickly <laughs> find a way of wrapping up this segment, but I'm still going to keep you here. But let me go back to Chizzy. Uh, maybe I should put this on record. Uh, are you a member of APC? I'm a member of APC in Rivers. Beautiful. Now, have you considered what the fate of a Shomale would be? This is a man that was heading... Uh, NWC. This is a man that was suspended and the suspension has been lifted as we speak and is already heading to Supreme Court to seek justice, so to say. If he gets justice, don't you think he will approach the court that dissolution of NWC was quite illegal? If, if uh, uh, 
uh, Show Mole gets uh, judgment from Supreme Court. You know, the judgment in Supreme Court, I mean, uh, the matter before the Supreme Court is different from the resolution of the end of this. And now, let me read, let me read precisely Article 13. Article 13, 3, sub, sub, uh, 3. He says, the decision of the National Executive Committee shall be binding on all organs and all, all members of the party, except the National Convention. So the decision today is binding on Adams and whosoever. Adams is not the first uh, NWC member or national, national chairman that was removed from office. If you check in the, in the days of PDP, it's not a serious thing. It happens from one time to the other. And Adams is bound by this constitution. And also, you know that this constitution also says that for anybody to go to court, you must have uh, uh, you must have exhausted all the avenues from uh, your work to the national. And uh, unless you exhaust that, just like the uh, the next, they also decided that all matters in court be withdrawn. Okay. And that decision will also be binding. If you will not allow that decision to be binding on you, the very best, best option for you is to leave the party. Okay. Because me... the party has rules and, and regulations and the constitution is binding on all those who subscribe to be members of the political party. <laughs> and therefore, the decision today is final. Whether Adams or whomever, if apart from Adam, any other person can go to court to say, I'm a member of NWC and my tenure has not expired. And also note that the constitution allows the neck to dissolve the NWC, wherein they are not doing what is right. Good. And why would the NWC be dissolved? An NWC that have over three chairmen, three persons laying claim to be chairman. Uh, uh, Victor Gadon said he's the chairman with the court and the the party said he is authentic chairman. Ajimobi, they said Ajimobi is the chairman. Eta Hilliard said he is the chairman. So, of what purpose will this NWC continue? We, what would they serve okay. us? They will continue to so serve us. So, it is on that uh, ground decision. that uh, the action can be said to be justified? 100%. The action of the NEC okay. today is justified. And that is the only organ too in the party that can take such decisions. Thank you so and much. We all stand by it. I, I would have loved to come back to you, but uh, you have exhausted the time. Thank you for your time. But it's a uh, cheesy and he from Rivers, who is a member of APC. Thank you for uh, clearing that air. But let me quickly get your final take on this. Do you um, think this issue has been rested? The issue has not been rested. Why? Because um, my colleague in Rivers raised, you know, um, some of the issues in the, in the Constitution. How well had the party you know, activate the disciplinary measures spelled out for members who refuse to exhaust the internal uh, resolution mechanism of the party before rushing to court. All the court cases, none of them even attempted to resolve this crisis you know, using Within the internal the you know, resolution mechanism. And at the end of the day, the party didn't do anything. And so to that extent, what it basically states is that it will encourage others who also have, you know, that capacity to go to court, who are not yet in court, to go to court. At the end of the day, the worst that will happen, just like the middle ground they have found, I say, okay, since um, there is no solution to it, let's just um, scatter it. Hmm. I, 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 I can understand. Maybe because you're not a member of the party, you're not singing the anthem of the party. He has told us that this issue has been resolved. But time will tell to see whether this issue has been resolved. Uh, thanks for staying with us. Staying with us, we'll take a short break now. And when we return, what is happening in Ondo State APC? Stay with us. <laughs>